Hello families, welcome back to the channel. This is a place for agricultural business owners looking for ways to make profit from the agricultural business and also thinking of starting up an agribusiness. And today I'm back with another video for the channel. So for the past few weeks, I've been talking about farming tips, opportunities, how you can make money from agriculture, um, the different aspects of agriculture, the problems, how you can increase your crop yield. So if you've not seen any of those videos, make sure you check them out. Okay, so today I want to talk about how you can raise money for your agricultural business. Yes, one, uh, one of the problems when it comes to agriculture is finance. Finance, that's one of the problems. So I think that's a question that comes up often, especially for those that do not have capital or maybe they don't want to start with agribusiness or whatever is my strategy that I've placed out. They want to know how they can raise money to start up an agribusiness and that's what I'll be discussing today. So if this is a video you're interested in, you know what to do, make sure you smash the like button, smash the subscribe button and let's dive. The first way to raise money for your agricultural business is by saving up your personal money. If you've been a fan on this channel, you will know that I've been talking about how I started, how I was able to save up some money, how I lost the money because I was inexperienced and that and that and that. I didn't just start agriculture, I didn't just go into farming without having my own personal capital. The very first way you can raise money to start up your agricultural business is by saving up money. Don't quit your 9 to 5 because you say farming is profitable and you think you'll just come down and you not spend money. You will spend money. So, as you're doing your nine to five, just keep saving, keep saving. If the capital you're looking for is one million, keep saving till you have your one million to start up your agribusiness or your farming. Also, make sure you save enough that can last you for a year or six months at most. Like you will need it. Don't just save. Okay, um, let me give you an example. Let's say you want to go into cucumber farming. I you know that cucumber farming takes 45, 60 days. You said, okay, um, you've read and they've told you that cucumber is a very fast money generating crop. So you feel once you save up like 450,000 at your startup capital for land and the rest in the next um, two to three months you will cash out it does not work like that so it's not to save up for three months save up for like six months seven months one year so that in case the thing flops you can have something to fall back to that was a mistake I made when I started my own I just saved up enough money because I knew at that point when I was still working that this work I'm tired of this work I cannot do this work again so I just I just kept on I saved for two years a whole two years but even the two years I squandered the whole money within six months and that was because I don't have any experience so it's the same thing with you you don't have the experience so make sure you save enough money the next way you can raise money for your agricultural business is by getting loan or grant from organizations industry maybe from your paddy paddy from your friends from your family that's another way you can raise money for your agricultural business like i said in one of my videos there's this um grant um empowerment stuff that sterling bank does for farmers every single year they disburse a certain amount of money to farmers to use to cultivate their crop i don't know you can check sterling bank out for those that are interested in grants but why i don't like this aspect is because you must have like you must have gained the experience you must have gained the knowledge i don't advise newbies to go into like to go into farming and start requesting for grants for loan no it's not advisable because you will waste the money you don't understand what you are going into you are going to waste the money so this is for people that are looking for expansion or oh, you've you've gained the experience you've known everything yeah you want to expand yes i would advise you to go for grants or go for loan maybe from a family member or from anybody that's willing to loan you money that's another way you can raise money for your agricultural business and for grants they have we have organizations out there that gives grants to farmers agricultural business owners so just watch out for them you might not tell you might get the money okay and finally the way you can raise money for your agricultural business is by partnering with someone these have been getting a whole lot and I'm dodging it eh, 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 with the way Nigeria economy is going would you want to put in debt so this is another way you can raise money but for this to work you have to have the knowledge you have to know what you're doing then the person has to support you with funds yes this is also good when you are expanding not when you're just starting oh you've read online you just want to start my friend give me money no is when you're expanding you've cultivated your cucumber you've cashed out your one million two million and you're like ah this is profitable let me put in more this is when you can go for partnership you can partner with people you can partner with someone that have land you can partner with someone that has more money then give it to you this is a very good one if and only you have the knowledge and you have the understanding of what you are going into 
okay so these are the three ways i've listed out that you can raise money for your cultural business if you have any ways in the comment section let me know all right like i said in one of my videos we are open to sponsorship advert so if you have any advert to place you want to sell your farmland you want to sell your produce you want to sell your commodity reach out to me yes i'm going to do an advert for you and place it on this channel so reach out to me um the link is in the description box and let's get started also for those interested in the maize farming class if you'll be going into maize cultivation this year please don't do that cultivation without joining the maize farming class or grabbing the maize ebook so you can grab the ebook you can join the class which other way they are the same amount so you can also get that in the description box below all right i hope you got value i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did smash the like button smash the subscribe button and i'm going to see you guys in my next video